Hi everyone, how's it going? I hope you are all doing well during this crazy, scary, unprecedented time. I've, I'm really curious to know how you're all doing. I have viewers from around the world and I'd love to know how you're coping with this. Personally, I'm doing okay. I'm a hermit by nature, so I haven't had to make any drastic changes to my lifestyle. And in fact, I'm rather enjoying this lockdown because I have all my kids at home, which is really nice. We're enjoying each other's company. We're having fun. I'm learning dances with my daughter for TikToks, and we're just having a good time. And I've been diving into my hobbies. I'm writing a song, which is something I haven't done in a long time. I've been busy painting. Uh, I'm working on a couple of paintings I'm very excited about, and I've been working on my perfumes. And speaking of my perfumes, I was freaking out yesterday because I recently purchased a bunch of essential oils from this company in Italy, which sells the finest quality materials in the world for perfumers. And I treated myself on my birthday and I purchased the finest, I, I got a bottle of the finest quality uh, myrrh essential oil that you can buy and I was flipping out because I put one drop of this material on my skin and the scent was sublime it was just incredible and the fragrance lingered on my skin for hours and I was just raving about it all day long and my family was getting annoyed with me like yeah we know how great it is stop talking about it and it prompted me to post something on my Facebook and I asked my friends, what is your favorite smell? Because my favorite smell is myrrh. And I got a bunch of responses and I was laughing because a couple of my friends responded with, well, I love the smell of wet dog or dog breath, uh, the smell of a dog's home. And another friend wrote, I love the smell of dog anal gland secretions. And we had a good laugh. By the way, I got an email from a friend a few days ago who wrote, I was looking at something on YouTube two days ago, and the ad before the presentation was a demonstration of how to drain your dog's anal glands at home. Surely that should be enough to put people off dog ownership. But nope. So getting back to my Facebook post about smells, my friend was joking that she liked the smell of dog anal gland secretions. And I responded with, how about the smell of those corn chip paws? And my friend had no idea what I was talking about. So I dug up this article. I think it was my viewer Nikola Tesla who once commented and referred to dog owners as dog shit huffing lunatics or something. It's as if these people are high on some sort of fumes that cause their brains to cease functioning in a normal way. These people are out to lunch. And I wonder if this is the case at HuffPost. When I saw HuffPost, I know that a lot of these HuffPost articles are dog-worshipping articles that are just so bizarre and just so completely crazy. There are no words for this craziness. Is it because they're constantly huffing dog shit? You be the judge. I remember reading about this in the past in numerous different places on the internet. Dog owners talking about this smell as though it is a lovely scent. Like, they love it, apparently. They compare it to the smell of popcorn, corn chips, you know, yummy snacks. Like, it's somehow... A positive thing. It's, it's, they love it. Before I get into the HuffPost article, I just want to say, I also found this unbelievable article on the BarkPost website. 11 ways dogs make our lives happier and healthier. Number 11 on the list. Check this out. Sniff those snack food feet. If all else fails, take a big whiff of those Fritos. It's like a Toma therapy. Mmm, bliss. Are these people for real? Is this a dream? I explained to my friend that it's the byproduct of yeast and bacteria and that dog owners appear to love it. And she thought this was very sick and I replied, indeed. 
And I thought I would just make a quick video in case you were not aware of this. It states here in this article that Pseudomonas and Proteus are the two types of natural bacteria that make their way from soil or water into the crevices of a paw. And it's the former that gives your pet that snack food smell. So Pseudomonas, I wanted to learn more about this bacteria. Under certain circumstances, Pseudomonas bacteria can cause infections within the human body. It's sort of like COVID-19 in that most people who are infected with this bacteria will only have mild symptoms, but it can be very serious for people with underlying health issues or weakened immune systems. People who are most at risk of developing serious symptoms include people who have severe burns, who have had surgeries, who are using a breathing machine or a catheter, who are undergoing chemotherapy, who have diabetes, people who have cystic fibrosis or HIV, or any other medical condition that compromises the immune system. This article explains that Pseudomonas bacteria cause the uh, well-known condition of swimmer's ear, as well as hot tub rash. So most people just have mild reactions to this infection, including ear pain, itching, liquid discharge from the ears, rashes, pain and redness of the eyes. It can cause pneumonia in the lungs. And it explains that when the infection reaches the bloodstream, it tends to be more severe with joint pain, stiffness, fever, chills, fatigue, and so forth. However, if you go online and you search Pseudomonas on Google, you will find so much information. I found this. Indeed, symptoms are not always mild. The bacteria killed babies in Maryland. And it says in this article that it is spread by healthcare workers. I wonder if those healthcare workers have dogs at home. I wonder if the dog's paws transferred that bacteria to those healthcare workers who then went on to infect hospital patients who then died. Medscape.com explains how pseudomonal infections, including bacteremic pneumonia, sepsis, burn wound infections, and meningitis are associated with an extremely high mortality rate. Monocular blindness is primarily due to bacterial keratitis, the causes of which include pseudomonal infection. Pseudomonas bacteria caused an estimated 32,600 infections among hospitalized patients and 2,700 estimated deaths in the United States. This was in 2017. So this bacteria, which causes the popcorn or corn chip smell on the paws of dogs, is like the novel coronavirus in that it causes only mild symptoms in most people that it infects, but it can be deadly in others. It can cause very severe symptoms in other people and kill them. Why on earth are we encouraging people to go out and purchase these useless disease-carrying beasts now more than ever during this whole COVID thing, animal shelters are urging people to go out and get dogs. That's going to be the subject of my next video. It's infuriating. It's so irrational. It makes no sense at all because here we are encouraging people to self-isolate. We're all on lockdown. We're in quarantine, whatever. We're being told to distance ourselves socially, wash your hands religiously and do all these things but go out and get a dog <laughs> do all these things to protect yourself from getting a potentially deadly disease but go out and adopt a dog and by the way you don't adopt dogs because adopt is a word that is reserved for human children only same with the word foster we need to quit misusing the english language and call it what it is you purchase a dog or you gift a dog you exchange property. You don't adopt a dog. Anyways, why are we encouraging people to go out and get dogs that, you know, can increase their risk of making them sick, increase their risk of infecting others 
with diseases that might kill them. I'm talking about the immunocompromised. You know, we should be trying to reduce or eliminate risk of deadly infection, don't you think? Why add to the risk? Why encourage people to get dogs? It's so crazy. This WebMD article explains how some healthy people even have strains of Pseudomonas growing on their skin in moist parts of their body, like their armpits or genital area. I can anticipate viewers commenting that I am crazy. Am I going to suggest we avoid humans too? Uh, look, this is the reason we don't tolerate human beings rubbing their naked genitals and naked armpits onto our furniture, our carpets, our bedding, you know. We cover these areas of our body up. We don't rub them all over library floors and hospital beds and shopping carts in grocery stores, stools and chairs in schools and pubs, cafes and restaurants. You know, we don't rub our naked genitals over all these things. In fact, if we did, we would probably end up in jail because it's generally recognized that those areas of our bodies are dirty and it's unacceptable to rub them all over public property. <laughs> Rubbing these moist, smelly regions of your body all over the furniture in your home is also frowned upon. And let's say I went to visit you at your home and I was wearing a tank top and my naked exposed armpits were moist and smelly and I proceeded to rub them all over your furniture. You would be offended and rightly so because that's gross. Yet we are expected to tolerate it when dogs rub their smelly bacteria laden paws all over our floors and our furniture. That's really weird. Another thing that's really bizarre to me is how most people would agree that the byproducts produced by these bacteria in these moist, smelly regions of the human body do not smell good. I think we can, most of us would agree that the smell is offensive. Dog worshippers, on the other hand, love the smell of these bacterial byproducts. They love the smell of their dog's popcorn paws and frito feet. Yes, humans spread disease, but we need humans to maintain a human civilization, don't you think? I can't believe I even have to say these things. I can't believe I have to explain why humans are necessary while dogs are not. I've had to do this so many times in different videos and it just boggles my mind that people still don't get it. It boggles my mind that people really appear to not care if our entire society just ceases to be. There are people out there that seriously advocate for the extinction of humanity. Now, how do you make people care who don't care? I don't know what to say to these people, but I, all I can think is that that is a seriously repugnant view and you're an embarrassment to humanity if you feel that way. You know, if you look at this article, they talk about how it's normal for dogs to have this smell on their paws and that it's normal for dogs to lick their paws and that licking is self-cleaning. I want to ask a question. In what universe does licking all over your body make you clean? If I went to your home and I licked myself, like I licked every square centimeter of my body that I could reach, would you believe I was clean after that? I wouldn't because I'm aware that saliva contains bacteria. If I would do that or if anyone would do that, I would think that person is disgusting because they are now covered in dried saliva, which means they are covered in bacteria. And that's gross. And I don't want them in my house. I don't want to touch them. That's absolutely disgusting. But somehow when dogs do it, it makes them clean. This is insane. Especially because dogs spend 
like half the day with their tongues up their anuses, right? They lick their anus, which always has traces of fecal matter around it and on it. They lick their genitals, which are covered with dried up urine. And then they spread these particles of urine and feces, which, by the way, has bacteria in it, the feces, right? Bacteria, parasitic eggs. In my video about how virtually all dogs are infested with worms to some degree, I believe it's like 30% of dogs are shedding parasitic eggs. And these are dogs that are routinely treated for parasitic worms. Uh, they still have the worms. They're just not showing any symptoms. And so it's absolutely gross. And I don't understand how anyone can believe that dogs are clean after they lick themselves. I'm not sure why, but many people believe dog mouths are cleaner than human mouths. This is a myth. I'm not sure where this myth originated. Some say it's based on dogs licking their own wounds and how they seemingly heal up faster, or how human bites can actually be worse than dog bites. While the legend's origin may remain a mystery, the facts are not. You really don't want your dog's germs getting inside your mouth. I'll share this article with you in the description, but it goes on to explain that dog mouths are like human hands and that they use their mouths to explore their environments all day long. They lick, taste, test, gnaw on, straight up eat, everything that's nearby, including their own feces, other animal feces. They lick other dogs' urine on tree trunks and, and grass, and they're just eating rotten, nasty, nasty things. So it has to do with the quality of germs and not the quantity. Even though the total number of germs in their mouths may be less than the total number of germs in our mouths, they have different germs in their mouths that we don't have. Germs that are more harmful to us because we have not built up immunity to them. Anyway, that's just a side note. I just thought I would make you aware of this corn chip phenomenon, in case you were not aware. And I have repeatedly said on this channel that dog worshippers give their dogs treats for doing absolutely nothing. I talk about this at length in my video called They Don't Deserve Us. <laughs> Here in this article, it ends by explaining that Frito feet are better than stinky feet, so give your pooch a break and a treat for good measure. So in other words, dogs should be rewarded for doing nothing other than having smelly feet. That's why I call them dog worshippers. What other creature deserves a treat for stinking? This is insane! Anyway, if you weren't aware of the popcorn corn chip thing, you are now. <laughs> I have another video I want to upload shortly, so stay tuned for that. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, stay healthy, and try to enjoy some good quality time with your family. And find what you really like to do. What are your hobbies? Get into them. Show yourself some love. You deserve it. See you soon, guys. <laughs>